As the Taliban prepare for possible attack, our World Affairs Editor John Simpson has managed secretly to cross the border from Pakistan into the Nangrahar province of Afghanistan, from where he sent us this report. It was smugglers who took us into Afghanistan, the kind of people who know every back way and every trick in the book. And it was the smugglers who decreed that we should wear burqas, the all-enveloping garment which the Taliban force every woman in Afghanistan to wear. It's got an immense advantage. You become invisible directly you put it on. No one even glances at women here. And they get the worst seats in the vehicles. We had to be careful. The Taliban now have orders to capture any journalists they come across. But when day came, we found it was difficult to get away from the Taliban. Just below our position here was a brand new checkpoint with 20 or so Taliban soldiers in it. And on the top of a nearby mountain was a camp with 80 Taliban. It was only set up two days ago. All the Taliban positions along here have been strengthened, presumably in case the Americans invade. Otherwise, the entire place seems eerily deserted. Nobody's around. They're too scared to stay. For our smugglers, who's in charge in Afghanistan scarcely matters. They operate freely on both sides of the border, and business is always flourishing for them. But while the Taliban remain in power, waiting for the Americans and their allies to strike at them, it's likely to be hard to smuggle information out of Afghanistan to the outside world. John Simpson, BBC News, Nangrahar province, Afghanistan.